Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And the question that I get asked a lot since yesterday is um, 22H2, Windows 11, does it still work on unsupported hardware? Well, from what I see from a lot of people is that it does. So a lot have actually updated to the uh, 22H2 on their unsupported machine and it works. Now what's not clear is that uh, did some of you see it through Windows Update or did you have to force it? I would guess that the um, you probably had to force it. I would um, I have a hard time seeing Microsoft saying yeah yeah here's here's the uh, 22H2 on your unsupported device. So uh, anyways anybody out there that has updated to 22H2 on your unsupported PC. Uh, let me know how you did it. And um, I would guess you probably forced it from the Microsoft website. Uh, so it, you know, it's, it, it continues to work out. I'm not surprised, um, honestly, uh, that it continues to work. I think every version will continue to work. It's kind of a way for Microsoft to um, have some of you maybe forgive them a little bit about the um, the um, arbitrary, very uh, very high minimum requirements that were put as a standard for Windows 11. Honestly, once again, when I look at everybody that has these machines that aren't supported, a lot of you <laughs> will just come back to me and say, yeah, you know what, it works great and it's fast and it, I don't see why the minimum requirements... And it's obvious that they were put there just for possibly pushing PC sales in some way. Um, you know, whatever they have to say, whatever they say, they, they aren't explaining it well. And there's actually nothing really explaining it and showing us uh, that you absolutely have to have those minimum requirements, except for the fact that they decided to put them in the operating system. So anyways, if you were wondering, yeah, it works on unsupported hardware. And I would guess it's going to continue working even next year with the next update and so on. And um, if you move on to 22H2, you'll be able to get all the moments update, as they call them. So you'll have these updates coming up in the next weeks and so on. Um, so no problem there. If you uh, move on with an unsupported PC, and that's the thing also that I kind of wonder, um, you know, in 2025, if, if, if Windows 11 is still the dominant operating system for 2025, basically, um, I, I'd be curious to see how many people will simply say, hey, I'm just going to, you know, be one of those unsupported PCs and move on to Windows 11 with that, with the little tricks that are available. So uh, anyways, if you're out there, you moved your unsupported computer to 22H2. How did you did it? Where did you, um, you know, did you go to the Microsoft website and just upgrade from there? Did you clean install? Was it sh um, available to you through Windows Update? Uh, I'm curious about these questions. So uh, let us know in the, uh, the description below in the comments uh, how you moved and how well it goes for you on the unsupported PCs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.